Thanks for joining me for another video. This is a comparison of the Axiom to the Idol, and these are the two in the current lines that are going to be the most similar to each other. I mentioned in the in-depth that the Axiom reminded me of an updated Marvel S. They have similar numbers, both NRG or nano base covers, but the Idol is also a nano base cover and the same kind of idea as the Axiom. Really strong symmetric core, really strong nano cover, so these two would be competing for the same spot in the bag. Maybe. There's a few different levels to this comparison, and I think in a few scenarios you wouldn't need more than one of these, and in others I think they'd absolutely fit in the bag together. The Axiom comes at 3000 and feels like more of a sheen or matte finish than just a regular sanded finish, so it's almost shiny or a little reflective out of the box. That might have something to do with the cover chemistry, but the half shot footage here was just the ball straight out of the box. I think I might have thrown it twice before I turned the camera on just to see what I was in for. Over the course of the next several games on the house shot and the 2019 Nationals DNS pattern, it shined up at about the same speed everything else does. We call it lane shine, but the majority of the shine comes from the ball return equipment. It hits in the back, then it comes back on rollers, and the wheels in the return bring it back up to you. It's just a matter of science. If you take a 2000 pad to something with shine on it, you're going to scuff it up. And if you take something smoother and rub it on the ball, like all the return equipment, it's going to smooth the cover. Keeping a sanded cover on something isn't a matter of durability or longevity. Obviously, the little shine I got here was helpful to at least keep me in the ballpark. With the idle on the house pattern coming out of the box at 2000, I knew this wasn't going to happen, so I didn't film very many shots. It's just a pretty quick look at this not being ideal unless you have a ton of speed, a super low rev rate, a really heavy house shot, or a combination of all three. On the DNS pattern with the Axiom, I probably could have used a bit more surface actually. It was getting down the lane easy enough, and even though I had a solid amount of room on the lane, the more you can take angle out of play on the left, the better off you're going to be generally. The track on the right side is about 5 to 8 board, break points outside of that are more uncommon. The track on the left side is about 3 to 6, so it's a little closer to the gutter. This makes it tricky with a strong ball and a house shot because there's the friction from the gutter to 5, but if the ball doesn't get left of 7, you're just not going to hold the pocket. On something like this, I'd want a bit more surface just to blend the shape better. You can see that if the ball gets started too far left, too quick off my hand, it goes a bit too long and wraps a 7 or doesn't quite have the hit when it gets to the pocket. Taking it to 2000 or so would allow me to play on top of 3, straighten my angles out, and be a little bit firmer at the bottom. With the current surface on it though, it'd be perfect after a little friction to the left develops, move inside just a bit and have the balance of length and pop that it's getting, but with a bumper to the left. This is when the idle up box would be a good one to punch. The idle typically favors straighter angles or a big rev rate from deeper anyway. That's what's made it so successful on TV for the pros. Chris Prather's been making a lot of money with it because he really rolls the ball and gets it to rev up, and the idle gives him traction without too much shape down lane, so it's the perfect balance for him when he gets deeper. Francois Lavoie won the 2019 US Open with one, and even though he's not a high speed or high rev guy, he used his because of the control, and he not only had a solid look, he had a good look on a show where no one else had anything. The idle straight up the lane or with just a little belly is the type of look I'd rather start with. It's built for total control on heavier volume patterns. It's basically like a supercharged IQ Tour. In this situation, the idle would be great to start with until you have to start moving, and once the angles start getting a little steep and we start wrapping these sevens, enter the Axiom, which seems to like the angle quite a bit more. I have several more comparisons to come. If you like the video, please drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my daily uploads. The Axiom releases on March 20th. Thanks for watching. <laughs>